Okay, so in this segment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer a fairly interesting, well, at least to me, question. Okay, so what it asks is, what is the percentage of the iceberg volume underwater? Okay, and as this is a fairly straightforward question in fluid mechanics, I only need the iceberg density, which is 917 kilogram per meter cube, and then I also need the density of the seawater. Okay, on the uh, online, you can see some misinformation. They specify 10,030 as the density of iceberg. That is actually the density of seawater. Okay, so that's not quite accurate. Be careful. Okay, now let's go ahead and find this. So, as I mentioned, this is a fairly straightforward process. So, what will happen is there will be the weight of the iceberg. I'm arbitrarily pointing where it's at. And I also will have, you know, somewhere it will be a little bit down over here. That will be the buoyant force. The fluid statics, so they need to equal each other. So, you can see Fp is equal to W is what I get. Okay? So, the weight of the iceberg will be the specific weight times the volume, right? And the density is given, so basically I know my specific weight of the iceberg is. What is the volume? Well, it is the volume of the entire, including what is above water as well, right? So this is included because this whole thing is pushing it down, okay? All right, so that's fine. Um, and actually, let's call this total to differentiate. Okay, so about the, what is the buoyant force. So basically we need to look at the Archimedes principle, right? And what it says is the buoyant force acting on a solid submerged, and in this case it's actually partially submerged, is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. Okay, not itself, not the iceberg, displaced fluid. And x up, which is the opposite to the gravity. Okay, so we know that for. So now let's write it. So it's going to be Fb will be the specific weight of the seawater, this is important, it's not the iceberg, times the volume under water. Why under water, not, why not the whole? Because think about it, so if you think about it, this whole thing is displaced volume. This volume is not displaced, that's above the water, okay? So there's no buoyant force on this area, so I'm going to take advantage of that and find you the volume ratio. If I equate Fp is equal to W from here, where this W is over here, so plug that in, and then you have this Fp and plug that in and see what happens, okay? So this means that the specific weight of the iceberg times the total volume must be equal to the specific weight of the seawater times what is the volume under water. If I look at the question that's asking me what is the percentage of the uh, iceberg underwater, so basically, this is what I am supposed to report. And if you see in here, so that will be, this is the of the iceberg, divided by the specific weight of the seawater. Okay, so this will be the density of the iceberg times the gravity, divided by density of seawater times the gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is cancel each other out. So basically, I get this underwater per total as density of iceberg divided by density of sea water. Iceberg density was given to me as 917 kilogram per meter cube and this was given to me as 10,030 and from here you can see when you do it you're gonna see you're gonna get right around 89. So basically this means that 89 percent of iceberg volume is underwater. That's what it means. Okay?